it helps people. Every individual walks off the show a better version of the self. Fact, we push you to the limit. Any of those tasks which are ballsy and hard and dangerous at times, we all do them. We do them on our build-up. They don't see them doing them. They'll see one demo from one of us, but we would not ask them to do anything that we, we can't do. Welcome back to Inspire Change with Jordan Mulligan. And today's episode is with the amazing Billy Billingham. You might know him from SAS Who Dares Wins. Today's episode was powered and sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food with everything that your body needs. Go to the link in the description where you can find exclusive offers. Thank you to Huel for supporting the podcast. Let's dive into the episode. You, you spoke about some of the guys on the on the show. Rudy, Rudy, but like he he seemed like a great guy. I spoke to Richard Sullivan, Foxy. You know yeah. some of the work he does incredible. Is it you guys are genuinely a community of like? Are you friends? Do you actually hang out? You know, yeah, we do. Probably want to know. Yeah, the, 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 it it is. It's brilliant, mate. It, it, we have fucking such a good time together. It, it it's enjoyable, honestly. You know, I've always said, if you're getting up and going to work, and you know, oh god, I've got to work with them again. I wouldn't do it. Again, time, I'm not wasting my time doing the suffering, not for money, not for anything. I love going to work. We all do. We have such great banter, honestly. It, it really is. It, it's what the military really is about. The camaraderie and the fun and the fucking dark humour we have. It's, it's relentless. You, you, you know, and it's, it's brilliant, honestly. We constantly rip into, into Rudy and he loves it. And he, he gets us back. He gets us as well, but, you know... We, we beat him down. <laughs> Ain't a guy, you know, there's, that, there's that, that bromance amongst all of us. We do really take care of each other. It, it really is great. We, we even now can't wait to get back together, to want to do the program, but to get it back together, you know. We do, we, it's, it's great fun. It really is. It's not, you know, there's no animosity. There's, it's a shared in everything, like, you know, we're all equal on that thing. When we just have, it's just brilliant. It really is. On and off camera, all of you who I've spoken to have spoke very high in each other. You know, yeah. kind of as well. Like, yeah. Not in respect. No, I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart, mate. It's just, I would, I would say if I wasn't, the, the, it's brilliant. It's, it's real good for me, honestly. I mean, we, it, it's kind of getting that exciting moment again now because we're all, we know we're all coming to, we're filming soon. We're all coming back together again. Oh, yeah, we've got yeah, the Mad American and fucking the crazy Northerner Chris and, and, and Foxy and Mad Me, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, honestly it's, it's great it, it really is fucking fun and banter I mean an example of how crazy and funny it gets that show is hard work we work you know when those people the, those students recruits go to bed we've still got a couple of hours work on top of that that's when we do all that talking about each individual one you get you probably get five seconds seen on the show where we do the prayers room we literally talk about every single person that doesn't take place until they're all in bed that's late at night you know so we're all knackered and again I remember on the, the one in Vietnam, it was really hard work because the conditions were really bad as well. We'd been in, caught up in a fucking, you know, a typhoon and the, it, it was hard. And we're two shows in, exhausted. And I just remember it was about four o'clock in the morning. You could hear somebody clipping around. And then you just hear this voice and it's Fox's voice. And he goes, I have always dreamed of opening my eyes, seeing a skimpy little house in tight little panties, but not in yours, Rudy. <laughs> and there's Rudy skipping around, going to the fridge and back, and then sit, you know, go to fucking bed. But I was just, you know, lying there exhausted, and it's just, it's just brilliant, honestly. It, it sounds like from the get go, yeah, you know, all you guys have had a very, very strong say to the producers of the show that this yeah. is how it needs to be, otherwise we're not doing it. Yeah. Yeah, and that's not like kind of being, it's my ball and you're not playing oh, with it. Yeah. It's based on, yeah, we have to keep the authenticity of what we're doing and why we're doing it, you know. And, you know, we, we compromise on stuff because there's certain things they want to put in. And we go, we'll, we'll sit around and go, how, how would that relate to something that we might do? And you generally find a way. Yeah, because we do, you know, we do do physical stuff. We do do emotional stuff. We do in the regiment, you know, to, to, to build you up and that. So if, it can, if we can fit it in, we'll fit it in. But we, we are, we do have a very, very strong say on it. If it's something that is not compatible or right, we, we ain't doing it. And to be fair to them, they, they, they might put up a bit of a resistance, but they're soon back down because the four of us got now. That ain't happening. That's not happening. 
I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. Today's video was sponsored by Huel, a quick, affordable, nutritionally complete source of food with everything that your body needs. I also have just started recently using Huel's Daily Greens. Please go check the link in the description for the best greens on the market, in my opinion. They taste amazing and they have everything that your body needs. Find exclusive offers down below with the link. Thank you to Huel for sponsoring the podcast. Have you ever pushed it too far on, on the show? In terms of what? Safety, uh, something that's probably not you know, TV-wise. We push it to the limits. We put, we, you know, we always say we don't ask them to do anything that we cannot do. Right, I can't hear it. And we actually do it. You know, the, the only rehearsal to that, there's no rehearsals on the show. The only rehearsals are any of those tasks which are ballsy and hard and dangerous at times, we all do them. We do them on our build-up. They don't see them doing them. They'll see one demo from one of us but we would not ask them to do anything that we, we can't do. And again, when we do those prayers of a night, we analyze every single person. We know really, you know, that person has got a phobia with water. So on that water task, we'll be a little bit more alert and ready to react to, and probably not push that person as far as you push somebody who just doesn't care about the water. They'll still do it, still have to do it. You'll get the, so, yeah. their 100% out. So, I mean, that, because, one, you don't want to hurt anybody. It is a TV show, but it's an experience. That's the way we look at it. We don't even think about the TV show. It's an experience for these people. You know, it's for them to get the best out of it. Fucking hurting somebody mm. and almost killing them is not a good experience. Mm. That can, that, all, that give, all that will give you is more of a phobia and more fear based on, you know, not ever wanting to do that again. So it is, it's, it's challenging, it's scary. It could go wrong, but the, we, you know, mitigate as much of the risk as we possibly, possibly can. And we'll always make sure that we've done it first. That's yeah, an incredible show, and people have saluted in it. We love it. I mean, I love it for really what it is in terms of it helps people. That person, that one person, that indiv every individual walks off that show a better person, a, a better a version of the self. Fact. You know, it, and it's... Because once they've shown the vulnerability, they've all come for a reason. And the general the reason is they've lost direction. They, they don't really know who they are anymore. Mm. And they've not been challenged anymore. They get everything, physical, mental, and emotional, pushed through their limits. And they do. And they end up a better version. They'll all, they will all go to a place better and further than they thought, whether they leave on day one or day 10. They all leave a place doing something that they never thought they could do. Every one of them. What I love about it, the mirror rooms, when their story comes out, which we don't know anything about, by the way, yeah, wow. when you're not allowed to, because then it becomes bias, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. You'd see false impression. So when things come out, sometimes you're like, you know, where did that come from? And we have to, we've now got to face that and come up with a, a solution to it or a potential way out of it for them to move forward. Mm. And some of the things you're like, Jesus Christ, you, in your head, you're going, I can't surrender. So how did, but you've got to keep it composed and go, right, okay. The easiest way out of all of it, and this is the truth, is it's already happened. It's already history. So as dark as it is, the only way you can go is forward anyway. So that, there's your answer. So that's always going to be the answer. So there's always an answer. But some of the things that you're like, whoa, I'm not ready for that. You know, I was not expecting that. So, and what I love about it, once they've got that moment done, it's like, mate, honestly, it's like they just jettison the house off their back. And they walk out of that mirror room feeling so much better. They've got nothing else to hide anymore, nothing or, or be worried about. It's done. And what I also love about it, later on, as that show goes out, mine and Fox's and the rest of the guests, their phones go mental, going, my God, if so-and-so can talk, because the, the, the celebrities, they're, they're all followed by our young kids and stuff. Yeah. If they can talk about it, I can talk about it. So You've really helped me. And honestly, it really helps so many people, mainly mentally, you know, going through mental situations, but all sorts of other situations as well. You've given us an option, and it, it's brilliant, mate. I've got messages from people who've been close to killing himself. Foxy's got the same. And that's all because of that show, and generally generally that part, the mirror room where those stories come out. Or it might be somewhere where you, you know, I've said something to somebody, or Foxy, or Chris, or Rude, said, and people go, wow, that's brilliant. And, and you get met so many messages, and that's what I love about the show. It really is, honestly, it's brilliant. 
and the camaraderie we have, it's like being back in the unit. I spent all night on the fucking roof, watching everyone waiting. And I'm thinking, fuck me, I'm in a situation I don't want to be in here. And this guy, he's only a small guy, by the way, but he's got two big henchmen with him, and they're big dudes. I'm absolutely shitting myself, to be honest. So I'm there on the roof all night. I've got fucking bricks, I've got fucking machete, I've got all sorts of shit. I thought he's coming, he's getting it, I'm gonna kill this guy.